What do you need? That was just silly vampire politicking, Cupcake. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. Oh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. <laughs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Get them together in one Malkavian body. And look what happens. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. Like what? Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. They're a bunch of malcontents. They get pumped up by rousing the rabble they keep around them. <laughs> like, that's hard. Nothing breeds faster than contempt. And that's what the Bruja are all about. Jealousy and contempt. Sure. Well, they fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. <laughs> it's all just an act. Gangrel can walk upright. They just choose not to. Sure. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and, uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but, uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. Sure. Mmm. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. I'm loyal to the clan. Loyal to my primogen, and therefore... Loyal to the Camarilla. The Nosferatu are the eyes and ears of the Camarilla, so they take care of us. They value our services, or, uh, don't want to be on our bad side. Either way, no one bothers us. What am I gonna say? He's the boss now. He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really, except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. Sure. From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. Sure. Mm. <laughs> I don't rub elbows with the pretty bloodsuckers much, but I've seen them work people like puppeteers, and that's admirable. Now, if only they'd get off their slimy asses and put their talent to some use besides feeding their egos. Sure. Mm. Mages. I don't have any reason to trust them. They're creepy, and I think they like it that way. But to be honest, I don't hear much about the Tremere. There's a few in L.A., but all in all, there's not that many of them. Sure. Mm. Well, they get a bad rap, if you ask me. 
Everyone likes to take shots at the man in charge, but when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. They can take the heat. Sure, Cupcake. It's war out there, after all. You should know all you can about the different sides. The Anarchs. Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? Yeah. The Camarilla works. When you let vampires run wild, you wind up with caitiff frenzying in the streets, then bloods blowing the masquerade, and hunters sniffing around. Law and order is the kindred's friend. Caitiff are just riffraff vampires who don't know anything about vampire society. Don't know their clan, mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. Sure. What am I gonna say? Like what? Yeah? You ask me, the Sabbat makes no sense. They couldn't care less about the masquerade, and they seem to care even less about themselves. It's like, hey, let's all spread hell on Earth so we can feel big and bad. Oops! I'm dead. Now how did that happen? Yeah. The Camarilla works. When you let vampires run wild, you wind up with caitiff frenzying in the streets, then bloods blowing the masquerade, and hunters sniffing around. Law and order is the kindred's friend. Theory goes that the farther down the bloodline you are from Cain, the weaker the blood is. So if you're, say, fifth generation, the blood is strong. If you're fifteenth generation, you barely qualify as a vampire. A thin blood. Hmm. It is a sad state. They're weak. Their power is watered down. Most of them are caitiff, and there seems to be more and more of them. Many kindred think it's a sign of Gehenna. Gehenna. The day we all die, when our sleeping forefathers rise and bring about the end of the world, many believe we are living in the final nights. Cain, the biblical brother killer, father of all vampires. Hunters. Humans who hunt vampires. Most are half-cocked yokels, who also say they've been abducted by UFOs. The real hunters are trained by secret societies, holy orders of the Church that have existed since the Middle Ages. Fear them. Gehenna. The day we all die, when our sleeping forefathers rise and bring about the end of the world, many believe we are living in the final nights. Like what? Sure. You better get back downtown.